Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Escalon, Book 1. Well, we've basically explored all of the southern Tangle Tree Forest. Um, there is this cave, of course, where I hope to find Lilith. But there is one last thing to do here, which is this uh, can full of worms, no, barrel full of ooze. And uh, pro tip right here, um, don't approach it from here. Actually, go around. This is the easy way to do it. I have successfully defeated these slimes this way. Off camera. Because, as it turns out, they cannot shoot through either this tree or this barrel. So only two of them will be able to attack you at any given time. Which makes this pretty easy. Unless I got extremely lucky on, on that one attempt that I did off camera. But yeah, fighting them here with Basically all eight of them. I think it's eight. Two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's eight. Um, with, with all of them attacking you at once is basically impossible. I mean, at this level. Sometimes you will have to do this to lure them out. Because they will literally not see you back in this corner. But yeah, as you can see, of course the... The more often you kill, the easier it gets, because even fewer are going to attack you at one time. And they will miss more often than not. Also, this is actually pretty good, because this gives us almost all the experience we need to level up some more. And the level up will heal us completely, so... I will. I am planning to use that tactically. Also, I almost forgot to actually take my prize, which seems to be a fixed 40 gold, so that's not a random treasure. And 40 gold is, while not amazing, is definitely very welcome at this point. Okay, so I'll... Oh boy, yeah, I guess this is... Nope. Around here is still the fastest way. Now, we have been warned about more bees in that cave, I guess. In fact, there is a sign somewhere that talks about an, uh, a swarm infestation or something to the southeast, which is where the cave is, of course. <clears throat> and I think upon entering the cave itself, it also mentioned the sounds of bees, or whatever these are exactly. Bees or wasps or hornets or, you know, some kind of bee-like stinging insect. But thankfully, I think it's pretty much confirmed at this point that they do not poison you, which is an unexpected grace, honestly, but seriously, with poison, this would be completely impossible for any low-level character, I mean, for anyone without inherent poison-curing capabilities. I mean, ultimately, it would just lead to even more resting, which is already kind of, kind of nuts. Also, oh, right, okay, I, I did see that on the map this part was not fully explored, but now I remember why, because the game does not actually allow me to walk past a certain point here. Although... Oh, hold on. Never mind. Oh, hello. Okay. That's... that's nice. That's 80 more gold. Sweet. That was well hidden. Alright. So sometimes exploration is worth, or is being rewarded. I guess not only sometimes, usually, but I was... I almost gave up on this one. <gasps> Where'd you come from? Uh-oh. Of course. The game wouldn't just hand something out for free. Oh, okay. That was fast. Nice. Sweet. Only two of them spawned? I can deal with that. Come on. And that should not... That's not going to make me level up yet, but that's okay. Hopefully. Maybe I'll rest a little bit before entering. So I can take the maximum advantage of, of the actual level up when it comes. Let's just camp out in front of us. 
dangerous cave. Obviously no swarm, no, no hive drones are going to come out of this cave during the night. And this should be fine, I think. We only need to slay a handful of them at this point. Although, that being said, to do any kind of uh, effective exploration, I will have to unequip my shield, unfortunately. And put on a torch. Which right now doesn't do a whole lot, but well, okay. It certainly does help. I also have no idea how large this cave is going to be, of course. But yeah, as advertised, there's the first enemy. There is some natural light there, though, so technically, I could fight it in there. And actually have take advantage of my shield. Although, that being said, this fight went incredibly well. Oh, not actually sure what the light source is supposed to be. Maybe there's a hole in the ceiling where some light is shining down. Let's just go with that. Okay. I guess I'll really have to depend on the minimap here to make sure I'm not missing any barely visible sight passages because, yeah, off in the darkness, it's almost impossible to, to actually see things. And I really hope we'll find Lilith in here, too. Because there definitely was a message as we entered that there were footprints visible in the clay. So, someone must have been... must have entered or exited or both this cave. I hope they entered most recently. Is there a thing on the ground there? Not sure. More light. Ooh. Switch puzzle? Hmm. What is this? Indeed, a strange set of levers so deep in this remote cave. Perhaps they operate old mining equipment that was long ago abandoned. Or maybe, when manipulated correctly, they open a secret door to a thief's lair. There's only one way to find out. Really? I mean, technically there should be multiple ways, but I guess the game wants me to just randomly start pulling these levers. Levers? Levers? Oh, that was easy enough. That was... Seriously? I mean... I mean, I'll take it. I was definitely prepared to, to keep trying for longer than that. Or maybe there are multiple combinations, or I don't know. That uh, was a stroke of luck, for sure. I swear, I, I did not know that. <laughs> I have not played this before. I'm almost tempted to keep that torch there. Not just all. And that made me level up. Okay. Um, I mean, I can level up in the middle of combat and use that as a healing, so I will. We have these here. I might have to use that heal right here. I think I can take one more, or can do they deal eight and nine damage sometimes? They do, don't they? Yeah, okay. Let's see here. I actually wanted to look at... Oh, I don't have the... I don't have the... Survival skill, officially. I have it through an item. Okay, it does affect hit point recovery, so... That's a really good thing to have, but... Again, I mean... Using all my three skill points... To learn a new skill, I can't really, I can't really justify that. I would really like to have the dodging skill, though. Hopefully, I can buy it somewhere because I think that I'm much more interested in actually being better at hitting things and also being better at not being hit by things. I mean, yeah, dodge would help with that. It would immediately add an extra point of. Uh, 
an extra percent of enemy mischance, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll go with this. Strength, speed. I mean, speed is as important as strength, both for damage and hit rate for my main weapon. It also helps with armor rating. I think I want to bring that up to 20 as well, that arbitrary threshold that I consider decent for no reason, because I have no idea where where the skill cap is, or the attribute cap, if there is one. Sure. And immediately you can see that we're doing no better than before, but, you know, at least we can pretend. Uh, 16 without a shield, so... wait. That's not gonna be better, is it? 2% damage reduction, though. Oh, I guess our armor skill is now good enough to actually provide some damage reduction? I mean, with the single-digit, mostly single-digit damage amounts that we take, that doesn't really come into play yet. I don't know if two hit went up by one. I, I should have really... should really have paid more attention to my stats beforehand. But, I mean, we did become better. For sure. Hmm. I guess this really was just a, a thieves. The answer is steel. S T E E L. A plaque with a cryptic message, indeed. Huh. Okay, maybe there is more to this. But it looks like it's mostly some loot stash. Hmm. Certainly not the home of Lilith that I was hoping for. Some charcoal. Sulfur which means that I still cannot make a uh, healing potion because I'm missing Ember, uh, not Ambergris, um, the other thing, Willow Sap. Okay, what is this? Locked, first and foremost. Nice. I'll take that. The answer is steel, you say. Um, wait. Yeah. Okay. The answer is steel. So is that like the uh, number of the letter in the alphabet? Is this... What I don't know also is if, if it's a, a single number that's gonna unlock it, or basically a combination lock. So is it... Do I have to enter the digits one after another? Um, oh god. Wait, what is S? Do I really have to count the letters? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Wait, that's 16? Is that right? Yeah. Q, R, S. 19? Is that right? I mean... I guess I'll try adding them all up. I mean, I guess I'll try 19 and see if that does anything. No, that was wrong. Okay. So, S, 19, unless I'm wrong. T would be 20. So that's 39. E is 5, right? A, B, C, D, E. Uh, so that's 10. That's 39. And L, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, K, L. It's 10. 49? I probably miscounted somewhere. Also, I'm terrible at actually saying the alphabet in English. I don't know why I insisted on doing that. Was it 39? God damn it. Okay, hold on a sec. I'll pause and just count and make sure I'm, I'm at least wrong, uh, at least right about those values. Okay, so obviously the answer is 60, 61. I was wrong. Uh, I was right the entire time. I mean, I, I was almost right about all the numbers. That was it. Okay, well, I mean, what else could have coded up at 750? Hell yeah, in before the thieves, the rightful, the not so rightful owners of this treasure show up. Gonna save some light here. Uh, so yeah, I was almost right about all the numbers except for the L, which is where my being unable to to correctly uh, say the uh, alphabet in English comes into play. 
but I, I also apparently got so distracted by trying to figure out the numbers for each letter that I completely messed up the simple addition. So, yeah. Obviously we started with with 39 after the first two letters. I guess that, that's what I still had in mind somehow. Hello. Ouch. Okay. I mean, I'd, I'd like to believe that... Oh. Oh. There we go. I'd like to believe that fighting these, these has become a little bit more consistent. Oh, I mean, I'm certainly dealing, doing a pretty decent job slaughtering those. Is there something? Oh, that's just some dirt on my screen. <laughs> I thought there was an enemy moving in the dark. I'm doing a, an okay job dealing with these guys here. That being said, of course, they will wear my HP down over time. But you know what? I'm totally okay with them coming at me one at a time. And it seems like maybe I've dealt with all of them. Also, now, of course, the footprints here are probably going to... are probably only indicative of the thieves being here and using this place as a hideout or as a loot stash. So, I don't know, I feel my chances of actually finding Lilith in here becoming slimmer all the time. Although, it looks like maybe this is going to lead to a different map entirely. Somewhere inside the castle, maybe? And I'm not doing so well against this high drone. Good thing I saved recently. Yeah, you know what? Let's restore that. That did not go very well. Now, where is that drone co going to come from? Or when is it going to show up? I'm trying to see some kind of movement in the dark off to the side of the screen. All right, I first walked all the way to this fork in the road. Oh, there it is. Oh no, there's two of them right away. That's not good. Ouch. I took two free hits, unfortunately. I should be able to make it if I'm lucky. The clutch. Okay, um, well now I have to rest a little bit. Uh, well, let's do that. Completely in the dark, in the spooky cave, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, lots of things, of course. I don't want to overdo it. So we're at about just over half health, actually. Let's go with that. Screen transition, just a sharp turn. What? Okay. No, we're dead. Oh, <laughs> we're literally at one hit point. Yeah, I mean. I mean, I am hidden in shadow. Oh, okay, that actually does work. Buzz off, please. Nope, oh, nope. Please buzz off. The other direction. Okay. Okay. And I'll... Just be warned.
walking off in the dark. It has no idea where I am. I hope. Or maybe it's still coming after me. I think it's... Oh yeah, it's definitely coming after me. God damn it. Okay. Whatever. In the interest of saving some time. Let's try this again with only a single enemy. I got that one was right here. I mean, okay, that, that went better. I'll take that. Right, there's the turn. Hello. Oh, okay, I can see one right there. Oh no. No. Maybe? Oh, come on. No, oh, It was dead. Come on. I hate it when the game displays no hit points in an empty hit enemy elf bar. Oh. At least have the courtesy of always... to always display at least one pixel, even if it's at one hit point. Um, okay. We have a chance. Well, especially if we crit like that. And time for another rest. Hmm. Guess I'll try going to 50 again. Even though, as we saw... Oh. Oh. Hey, guys. As we saw, 50 doesn't necessarily last very long. Speaking of not lasting very long. Yeah, well. I tried my luck, I suppose. The safe thing to do, of course, would be to only rest for, like, 10 hit points, stop resting. Oh, I guess we got extremely unlucky this time around. Oh. Oh no, it's at least two. It's free. Of course it is. Oh, four. Sweet. Well, here we are again. Save the game, keep resting. <sighs> okay. Um, four of them again? No way. Again, and I keep resting because I guess I might as well rest until I'm full. I wonder if there is actually a minimum number of, of turns that the game will allow you to rest before it's gonna spawn any enemies. So that uh, you could technically only ever rest for that minimum duration and then stop and then rest again to completely circumvent any ambushes. 
I feel like that's probably a thing. I don't know. We've seen some enemies spawn very, very quickly, very soon after starting to rest, so maybe that's not necessarily a thing. Oh. Okay, some acid. Useful, actually, for a couple of recipes. Is this gonna make another sharp turn, though? Looks like it. Oh, hello. Wow. See, why cannot every single combat go that way? Instead, most go more like this. Or even worse. Hmm, I wonder, is there a passage there? I don't think there is, no. Thought I heard buzzing again. Oh. Oh, we can interact with these. Hell yeah. Of course, that also means lots of hive protectors. Okay, still just a normal hive drone. Larry. I was really hoping for hoping to find a way to burn these down for good. But I guess I'll take the quest items that I've been looking for. That bad? Hmm. Why isn't each each and every one of these lootable though? But only a single larva from each. And not stackable, of course. We need ten, right? Uh, I think so. Yes, ten giant larvae. I mean Oh, I can use them? Eat them, I guess? I mean they're called hive larvae, not giant larvae, so I really hope that they're even the right thing. But they must be, right? There's no way. But the fact that the game theoretically allows me to consume them and thus waste them entirely is a little bit concerning. Also, I did not find ten of them, so... Oh. I did find four. Only four? Did I check everywhere? Hmm. I mean, I'm not even sure if they're hand-placed or randomly generated. Maybe they're not the quest item I'm looking for. It's very possible. I'm also going to actually rest here. I mean, if they're the quest item, then there will be at least ten of them to find, I'm sure. Still, the fact that I can use them and waste them entirely makes me wonder. But, well, I don't know. Again, if they're the quest item, then there's going to be enough of them if I'm just looking thoroughly enough. And if they're not the quest item, then... Oh, well. I guess I don't... I didn't have to worry about them in the first place. Okay, there we go. Um, I am curious though. What will they do? Gulp, yuck. Okay, didn't poison you or anything. 
Although they didn't seem to do much. Maybe they heal. Who knows? But since there is a chance, a non-zero chance that I actually need to keep them, I'm definitely going to do so. Oh man, this is... Could this go any more poorly? Holy crap. Losing just a cool 66 health. 60? No, 36 health against a single freaking bee. Uh, not great. I was gonna say, maybe if this second bee here can make up for it by not hitting me once. But no, no such luck. This went just as badly. Uh, oh well, whatever. I will take it. Okay, we got a nice little clearing with trees inside this cave. I'm sure that makes sense. I guess there's some light shining in. Ooh, what is this? A full-on underground river? Lake? Pretty cool, actually. Good thing I had a pretty... Had a solid number of torches going in here, or else this would be a bit of a problem. At least in in dungeons, you typically have a you typically find some some torches to make up for the ones that you use. Jesus, though. No. Oh, six? No, five? Six? There we go. I'm afraid we'll run into more of those, though. <sighs> so we rest again. Thirty, save, rest. I guess we have been pretty lucky with random encounters during those last couple of rests. Save, rest. And hopefully we can do the rest in one go. Okay, so far so good. Yes, we do have six larvae. Looking for four more. And some treasure. Iron short sword, not really helpful. Serpent venom, reactive. Okay, interesting. Hmm. There appears to be a particularly large red dot here, but that may be because of the scaling. I think there's really only the... there's nothing but these these hives there. Unless there is? No. Yes. Weird how only some of them can be clicked, but oh well. off and wait what oh I have to do this did that actually break oh oh that might actually have opened a passage <gasps> there's a bay oh, a bay yeah the blast opens a pathway through the rocks okay good to know I mean I've seen a couple of I've seen seen a couple of instances of 
um, explosive barrels standing around. And I have been wondering before if I might might even done so, might even have done so out loud. Oh wait, this was just a shortcut though, basically, not actually a secret part of the caves. Okay, fair enough. But it, it is good to know that that is a thing. Another good reason to have the bow and arrows, because you certainly would not want to do this uh, with a sword or any kind of melee weapon. Looks like this is the, f the last part of the cave that we haven't seen yet. <gasps> the air in this chamber is heavy and sour. The floor is covered in soft, moist dung, crawling with beetles. In the darkness above you, you hear a cacophony of shrill screeches. Bats. It would be best not to disturb anything here. Uh-oh. Obviously, I can't very well heed such a warning. But what... What... What even is here to disturb? These bones? They just have some gold. Certainly, the bats couldn't possibly care about that. Oh. Something wedged in the loose rocks catches your eye. Perhaps something was carried in here by the bats and dropped onto these into these rocks. Interesting. Why don't we explore explore the rest of the cave first? And deal with this on the way out. Oh my god. see any more bees. Actually there's quite a bit more room on this map so who knows who knows what we'll find. That rock looks like the same. Actually this that was just a standard looking rock. Now that I think about it. Oh. Oh? That's a goblin that we can talk to. Um Okay. Hello. Who are you? You're surprised to see a scrawny goblin standing in the center of this chamber, walled off from the rest of the cave. It is apparent that he has made this place his home for some time. Oh, human. No harm, Graz. Me no make war. Me be friend. Mm-hmm. And I speak to filth. I'm the enemy of all goblins. I mean, that, that doesn't even make a lot of sense because we don't remember anything from before we woke up. And since then, we have heard some bad things about goblins, but we haven't actually made any bad, any particularly bad experiences with them, right? So, saying something like that feels out of character. One reason why I should not destroy you, and then I will determine your fate. I mean, that's more appropriate, considering that we have had some hostile encounters with with other goblins. But. I mean, we've had a lot more hostile encounters with other humans than with goblins, so, you know. Uh, there is that. Tell me what you can about this place. I mean, I don't want to be too friendly with him. Oh, because Graz, friend of humans. Graz not want to be with other goblins when they may war. Something bad going to happen. Graz hide here until war end. Spare Graz, and he be your friend. Graz tell you all he knows. Tell me what you know of this war, I guess. Humans make war with Orakur, but something not right. Why human leader let goblins run around and make trouble? Goblins make war on humans and human leader just ignore them. Something bad going to happen. Graz not want to die. Graz hide here until all over. Graz lowers his voice. Powerful shaman named Gramuk is leading goblin clans now. Clans move across Thermor looking for great gemstone. Not know what happens next. Well, I mean, we have heard from Gramuk. He's the one who wrote a letter to Father Michael the priest. I would like to ask about this gemstone, but I guess I can't. What do you know about these Orakur? Graz knows nothing. Graz never see Orakur. Human soldiers far away chasing shadows. Goblin shaman Gramuk spreading vermin to weaken humans. Humans blame Orakur for this, not goblins. Graz not be part of war. Great suffering coming to all. Suddenly Graz places his hands over his mouth and looks around, then whispers, Shh, Gramuk may be listening. Gramuk see people with his mind. Maybe Graz say too much. No more talk, or Gramuk may find Graz and human. 
Thank you for your help. Yeah, I mean, I have no reason to to fight him. Grass, say you're welcome. Grass, thank you, man, for not harming Grass. So, Grass, tell your secret. Grass used to be in charge of cleaning weapons in Goblin Citadel. If you ever get captured and taken to Citadel, maybe you can escape. Maybe you can use powerful weapon for help. There'll be a lockbox. Lockbox. A lockbox in Citadel near where goblins keep prisoners. The box lock need to be set to 66 and then box open. Powerful weapon there. Oh, I really hope it's a sword. Thank you. Perhaps that information may be useful to me someday. Indeed. The quest has been added. Really. Uh, friendly goblin. Oh, okay. Thanks for the reminder. I guess it could be a while before we actually get there. If we ever get there. I don't know if that's a necessary step in the main quest. But we'll see. Hmm. Sword barrel of decent quality. I mean, I don't really want to steal from him, but on the other hand, I also don't mind too much. If he doesn't. I'll take these things. Thank you, Graz. Okay. Serpent Venom. Sounds unsafe to carry around, but... I mean, I guess it's safe enough in a, when it's in a bottle. Also, just to make extra sure that I'm not missing anything... Here. Okay, that was an unexpected friendly little encounter. Very nice. decent. Not too terrible. Okay, we've got some more gunpowder here. Hmm. Gold. Looks like some of these have already blown up. Okay. Doesn't seem like that actually opened anything. Or produced anything else useful. Hmm. I wonder if maybe a queen bee is actually coming up. And I could have used this to steal a ton of damage to her. To it? To her, I guess. Just not indicated on the map at all. At least I can't see that. Hmm. Ooh, unknown. Unknown item added to inventory. Huh. Fascinating. Uh oh. Got another bee coming our way. We'll have to rest once again.
Hmm. I wonder if I basically pick, just picked up a an item for a much later quest that would have sent me to this cave with more accurate or more precise instructions as to where to find this rock. But I mean, it's large enough to just accidentally to make it pretty likely that you'll accidentally discover it the way I did. Also, I really should have been not tempting fate so much. But we got lucky with that rest. And our luck just ran out. Four of them, of course. I mean, that being said, we can just do this and have them wander off wander around cluelessly. Surprise. The others don't seem to care. Or maybe they just couldn't figure out a way to reach you. the fourth one though. He just he actually walked away. Huh? Thak attacks Hive Drone. Oh, well. Don't mind if you do. <laughs> okay. Never mind. I'm not laughing. Holy crap. This guy's surviving surprisingly long. I would like to rest in here, in this corner. Unfortunately, the game doesn't allow me. Okay, we can rest here, so... Apparently those bees have not actually seen me. Especially that queen bee. I was calling it. We'll see how bad that's gonna be. Hopefully not too bad if I can eventually get her by herself. That will require me to lure off uh, the hive drones one by one. It might be a little bit tricky. And yeah, I kind of wish I had left those those gunpowder barrels undisturbed. Although there should be at least one left. So if I really wanted to, I guess I could use that to deal a pretty heavy blow. If I can make her come after me. I guess I'll slay a few more thugs. I mean, these guys are relatively easy experience at this point, and also have a chance to loot some, so to drop some actual loot, unlike most enemies. So in that regard, they're really not that bad. Looks like we're almost halfway to the next level up already. In fact, yeah, we started at 11k, right? So 13 would be the halfway point. Okay, let's see if we can deal with that V situation down there. Oh, those guys just started fighting again. Interesting. Oh, he died. <gasps> I was not paying attention. Looks like the queen is kind of slow. I'm also wasting time by not walking efficiently. That might be bad. Oh, she's right. Wait, she's not right, right there. Yeah, this bee has been damaged by the thug. I wonder if he has been focusing entirely... ...on one of them. Ah. 
Okay, looks like maybe the queen bee is not actually following us anymore. Huh. And we did extremely well against these bees, I gotta say. That was some exceptional luck. Huh. Looks like we actually lost her. She is. She is slow though, isn't she? Maybe she only feels slow because she's so large. I mean, I could be using my arrows to actually soften her up already. Or... do this. I I guess I will... Uh oh, I wonder if I already messed up. Is she right next to it? I can't tell. Is she gonna be affected by it? No, she should be, huh? That did not hurt the bee at all. Okay. Or did it? God damn it, where, where is she even? That did not work. I messed up. Let's see if I can fix it. I doubt it. Oh, she didn't move this time. But isn't she right next to it? No, I guess she's not. <laughs> 20 damage, huh? Cool. Now she's next to it, but so am I. Mm. If I walk here, she's gonna follow me. That hit me as well? Really? So it does reach... It, it does reach two tiles. Why didn't it affect her the first time around? It did deal 75 damage, which is... That did not affect her at all. Okay. What's up with that? She's two tiles away. That did hit, hit her, and it actually killed her halfway. Well, I mean, I guess here I am. I have to try. I don't have a cat's eye potion, so I'll have to fight in the light. I'm paralyzed! Cool. Okay, so what do we have here? 47% to hit her, 90% for for her to hit me. That's not great. She didn't deal a ton of damage this time, but being paralyzed is obviously extremely bad. I suppose this is winnable with some luck. I really wish I could Man, I, I, I don't know how I was able to screw that up so badly. I was thinking... I was about to just walk in a straight line to have her pass literally right by this barrel, which would have worked out nicely. But then, in the, at the last moment, I was beginning to, to get doubts whether... You know... I mean, okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just stupid. I can just do this. And she's going to do check with me. Like so. Yeah, I can fix this. No problem. A little bit of a problem, but, you know. Not an unfixable one. I think she might be right next to it at this point. That did deal 75 damage to her. I am still concealed. Huh. Okay, I mean... I think she just sometimes does not move. Of 
course, 14% hit chances. Really bad. Needless to say. Why do I... God damn it, the misclicks. Okay. Um, what do I do? Can I even... Use a torch? Wait. I don't really understand. Oh, I guess I, I have to be next to two walls to be hidden in shadow? I think that's how it works. Not just next to one wall. Okay, now she's lost me. I wonder if this helps at all. That automatically extinguishes my torch, which I suppose makes some amount of sense. Shouldn't we be able to kill her if she doesn't paralyze us, though? I think. I'm just going to try fighting her with my sword. Come here, lady. Your Majesty. Seven damage. Fifteen. She's almost dead. I can do it. I did it, actually. Five hundred experience. And she dropped the Hive, Hive Queen Stinger. Short-bladed weapon. A poisoned two damage dagger. Well. I'm beginning to seriously question my decision and question the, the judgment of the internet. Thanks, internet. For telling me that daggers are just bad. Oh well. Alright. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. I guess it's good to have some extras. Or, you know, maybe these aren't the quest items I'm looking for. But we'll find out soon enough. Alright. Cool. That went a lot better than I had any right to expect. Value zero, huh? That's unfortunate. I guess I'll deposit that somewhere in town, maybe. Maybe I'll, I can find a, a chest somewhere in Eredel. I really only have to find a chest somewhere near any quick travel point. And just use that to deposit items that I want to hold onto but not carry with me. Sounds like a decent plan. I hope I didn't walk past any more, um, you know, hollow rocks like the one with the unknown gemstone in it. But I also still have to find out what this uh, bat cave is all about. I have a feeling like this might be bad news. I'm probably going to be completely surrounded by bats as soon as I touch this. So I'm definitely going to rest beforehand. Rest very quietly so as to... Uh, as not to agitate those bats. Save the game. If these are just the bats that we've seen before, then this might not be unwinnable, depending on just how many of them there are. Evil amulet plus one damage. Okay. Ouch. Right, I forgot that picking up loot actually makes time pass. Hmm. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bats. Reminds me of that slime encounter before. Okay. 
Oh wow, that was a one shot. Looks like we're actually gonna be fine. I wasn't expecting that. Wow. This went. Oh. Hello. Oh, this went so much better than I would ever have expected. That was an easy 200 experience. Thank you very much. Um, evil amulet, though. I mean, it doesn't seem that evil. Also, I, I think I really prefer two hit over extra damage. Um, I'm gonna say just in case it's a curse item or something. Yeah, okay, now it says 17 plus 1 damage. I mean, having more damage would be nice, but, you know, not at the cost of hitting less, because that obviously is not a good trade-off. Okay, well, it looks like we're done here. It was way more successful than I was honestly expecting. Especially with this item that is definitely... Oh, wait, strange amulet? Unknown gem? For a second there I thought maybe you you fit this in the hole in that amulet. It seems so it seems so fitting, doesn't it? But maybe you'll have you'll have to uh, have some kind of NPC do that in the context of a quest. Also I completely walked by the secret passage, which is right here. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I was about to extinguish my torch anyway, because I can just I should just be able to walk out here, no problem. We'll see if some more enemies spawned on the way out, maybe, but doesn't seem like it. Well, no Lilith, so she's not literally in the in the heart of the forest, so I guess um, my next best bet is to look north of here, near the lake. That seems like a pretty pretty likely place. Um, you know what? Before I end the episode, I am going to travel to Eridel, sell some stuff, and then go visit Hashem in the crypt and see if uh, if these are the larvae that he's interested in. I have a feeling like they probably are, even though they're not literally same, named the same thing. I'm gonna sell this. Yes. I don't think I'm ever going to use that. It's really unfortunate that this isn't worth a good amount of money. But, oh well. Right. I mean, I guess... I really will only need 10, right? So... There's no reason to carry more of these with me. What can I buy from you? I have so much money. I can actually... Spend some of it for a change. Hit points, hit points, alchemy, wisdom. Yeah, no. I'm kind of hoping for for a sword skill increase, or maybe more hit chance on a ring, that would be nice. Uh, or really anything more useful than, than straight up hit points. Um, I guess I'm gonna buy some Willow Sap. Actually, I only have a single piece of sulfur, but still, actually, I could also buy these. Yeah, unfortunately, sulfur and Willow Sap together are still more expensive than, than a healing elixir, which is really silly when you think about it. Since there is absolutely no benefit in brewing stuff yourself over buying it, as far as I can tell. It's not like you will level up your, your alchemy skill or anything. Elemental, something class. Maybe I should... Uh, I was going to say maybe I should buy an, a cheap arcane spell scroll and see if I can actually use it, or maybe even learn the spell now that I have 10 int, but uh, they're all the same and all pretty pricey, so I'm gonna wait until I find one naturally, I think. We are down to three healing elixirs, so maybe I should buy a couple more. Yes, that's okay. Um, right. We will... Is reagent? Yes. Seven, that's good. Yeah, this thing 
I'll hold on to. I'm gonna sell the sword even though it's not worth a whole lot, but you know. Also, for some reason I never... wait. Oh, I guess it must be possible to go through there, to reach this back room here. I mean, do I want to steal from her? Not really. Will I? Um, I guess? There's a chance that there is a, a useful item in there, I guess. Also, speaking of... Oh, wait, this is exactly what we have. What a coincidence. Hmm. Steel arrows. Little belt. Hmm. Well, doesn't look like he really has anything useful for us right now. Uh, no, not those. Although... No, I don't... And primarily, I don't want to be carrying uh, that many different uh, arrow types around because I'm, you know, notoriously bad at actually making use of the things that I have. Crime being committed? Oh no. Come on. How bad is this? Huh? She doesn't seem mad. Rift, yes, the Eastern Gap. <sighs> huh. Goblins, Arcor. Okay. Sure, we we have talked to her about that before. But seriously, though, she heard a crime being committed, but she didn't actually raise an alarm, or nor is she angry at us at all. Where's that? This guard. Wasn't there a guard? Oh, hello. Don't cause trouble. I mean, weird. I I'm tempted to reload because it feels like maybe I triggered something bad, but then again, it doesn't seem like I did anything bad. I mean, like any any anything bad actually happened. Let's try this again. Hmm. I'll say that she hears it, but... I don't see how I could possibly prevent that from happening. 70 experience. I mean, if nothing else, I, I like the free experience for just... Oh, unknown potion. More unknown potions. Interesting. I suppose that's where the lore skill would come in, huh? The item identification skill. Hello. <coughs> she does not care. Hmm. Huh. Okay, you know what? I don't know, I, I guess I'm not going to break into her place, even though it's some free experience. But I want to try this out. Large emerald. It's just a large emerald. Oh, it's not mysterious at all. It's just that I'm not smart enough to figure out what it was. So, never mind. I guess it's not a quest item. But, of course, I sold it massively below its value, so... Yeah. Screw that. Alright, let's um, head on over, head on up to... Uh, to the crypt. Actually, we should be able to... Uh, Travel to Grimhold East. It's only a short walk from there. Relatively speaking. Still a little bit of a walk, but not so bad. I 
I guess I'll make a quick cut until I reach that place. Okay, and here we are. In front of the dude. I have found 10 Hive Larry. Can you use these? Yes, yes, those will do nicely. Hang on, this won't take long at all. Hashem takes the larvae from you. At his table, he makes a short incision into each one, exposing a small green bladder. After removing the bladder, he squeezes a few drops of green fluid into a large flask, then swirls it around with some other liquids. Perfect. The enzyme has lowered the viscosity of the oils. This will burn splendidly. He pours about half a liquid into a separate flask, then turns back to you. Here, take this for your efforts. Be very careful with it, because it is extremely volatile. I'm sure you'll be able to come up with some creative use for it. And that was worth a lot of experience. Definitely worth coming back for. Okay. Thank you. Ah, flask of incinerator fuel has been added to your inventory. Incinerator fuel? Oh, thrown weapon. Okay, interesting. I mean, incinerator fuel seems to suggest that there is such a thing as an incinerator that you could fuel with this, but... Hmm, it has only a single flask and it is worth 400. I'm definitely going to hold on to this, probably until the end of the game, if, you know, knowing myself. But, uh, well, who knows, maybe we'll find a, an obvious use for this, other than just throwing it at some strong enemy. I mean, I don't know, maybe if it deals hundreds of damage it might actually be worth using against a strong enemy, but I, I don't know, um, there might be a special use for it, you know? So, yeah, I'll hold on to it. That being said, hold on. Wait a second. Isn't an incinerator literally just... Isn't that what these things are along the wall in this room here? I actually checked out the one that... The one of them that can be clicked. And I was wondering. It is an in incinerator. It is empty. Huh. I mean, this is probably a really stupid, but... Interesting. I guess it's it's called incinerator fuel because it is intended as fuel for these incinerators for him to use, for, for Hashem to use. It is interesting, though, that it did not kill me. It did cause a nice big explosion, though, so it's good to know that that's what it does. I suppose that might come in handy at some point. I also strongly suspect that there isn't actually a, a more unique use for it. What's up, what's up with the ground in this room here? It's actually... I guess it must be partially uh, soil. That's why it's not being colored in any differently. Okay, um, interesting. Well, we have this now. I mostly did it for the experience, of course, which uh, definitely was worth it. So we're getting very close to the next level up already, which is great. Um, as for what to do next time, also, cannot travel out of here now. Makes sense. Uh, as for what to do next episode, I, uh, well, now that we didn't find Lilith in the central Tanglewood Forest region, um, as I said, I strongly suspect her to be near that lake. It feels like a fitting location somehow. That being said, um, I also kind of feel like exploring the rest of this map here while I'm in the area. Maybe I'll, maybe that's what I'll do. I didn't even consider that. Um, there's no particular reason to do it now, other than I started exploring and explored most of this map, but never finished it. If nothing else, it should have some relatively easy enemies to take care of, maybe, maybe enough to give me that level up. Uh, I was going to say that I kind of want to explore Grimhold, just because. Um, see what there is to that place. That's actually rest. Um, obviously we don't have to, we can just teleport straight to the western exit, or entrance. Um, but obviously I want to see what is inside. We have seen that there are some goblins, as we had previously heard. But um, are there going to be multiple levels to it? Is there some any 
actual major treasure. Maybe there's some story relevance to the place. But either way, uh, I'm just curious, and that's reason enough to, to check it out. And it's kind of, you know, I, I could just continue exploring the forest, of course, but it's kind of a place in between two places that I have been to and have fully explored, right? So it feels um, like I should finish the job by by taking a closer look at that place as well. That's the only reason why I consider doing that before actually heading to the northern Tanglewood Forest region. Anyway... Oh, hello. Oh. Well, we'll take a look at this uh, lizard salamander infested building uh, next time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.